Good morning friends, were we not asking you to start maintaining your fixed asset register with requisite details from past so many years? Yes, we were and we still are. Didn't we circulate a format for developing a fixed asset register both for movable assets and immovable properties of the organization? Yes, we did. Today. The update which we are going to discuss in this video shall now force you to start one and that too from the very beginning if you have not yet started maintaining the fixed asset register. I am Ashish Agarwal from Dimenjo Enabler and today we shall discuss a major amendment brought in form FC4, the annual return for FCRA registered organizations under FCRA regarding disclosure of assets created out of FCRA funds. I repeat, today we shall discuss a major amendment brought in form FC4, the annual return under FCRA for the FCRA registered organizations regarding disclosure of assets created out of FCRA funds. We have been constantly telling you all from more than three years now about the importance of maintaining a fixed asset register. In fact, more than a year has passed since our video was published on this topic explaining the importance of fixed asset register for NGOs. Then even while explaining form number 10AB we again stressed upon having an asset register because the details of land and building whether owned, leased or rented by the organization is being asked along with the stamp duty value, the purchase cost of the asset and the size of the land. Apart from this, while explaining the mandatory books of accounts specified for charitable organizations wide CVDT notification number 94 by 2022 released on 10th August 2022, we again stressed upon this issue of maintaining records of movable assets and immovable properties because that was one of the mandatory records listed in the notification. Though the income tax notifications are applicable to all NGOs, still we found that many organizations are not adhering to the same. Maybe after reporting in form number 10B this financial year, that is financial year 22-23 for which the filing is going on, when the department shall initiate any action against such NGOs, they might take the notification seriously. Anyways. Moving on to the topic for today, we are going to discuss the latest amendment in form FC4 notified by the MHA department on 22nd September 2023. So stay tuned till the last. Before the amendment, only the details of purchase of fresh assets were to be reported in point number 3B of the FCRA return. I repeat, the details of the purchase of only the fresh assets purchased out of the FCRA funds. The name of the project, the nature of the asset so purchased, the objective for which it is purchased and the cost was required to be disclosed. Now, after the amendment, point number 3BA and 3BB have also been inserted where the details of movable assets and immovable properties created out of FCRA contribution has to be given. Now, what are those details which are required in these two tables? This will make you feel the need to have an asset register for both movable assets and immovable properties. Let's check out. In the first table, description of the assets, opening value, value of the assets acquired during the financial year, value of the assets disposed of during the year and at last, the closing value as per the balance sheet has to be filled. Now these details have been asked only for movable assets. Now for this table, there are two catches. First, most of the organizations might be maintaining the assets as a group like furniture and fixture, equipments and not item wise like chairs, tables, generator, computer and many more of such assets. However, such details usually can be found out from the asset register of the organization where item wise details are listed or should have been listed if at all it is maintained. Since it is not clarified as to what should be the description of the assets, both should be fine. 
till the time it can be reconciled and matched with the audit report. I repeat, both should be fine till the time the values can be reconciled and matched with the audit report. Secondly, although there is no column for the depreciation, but the closing value asked is as per the balance sheet at the end of the financial year, which means the value should match with that reflected in the balance sheet. This implies WDV that is the written down value has to be mentioned and not the original cost of the assets. Otherwise, it will not match with the value reflected in the balance sheet. In the second table, the details of immovable properties that is land and building its size, location and value as per the balance sheet has been asked. This implies the organization now have to give details of all the lands purchased or buildings constructed out of the FCRA funds and the total should of course match with the total value of the land and building as reflected in the balance sheet. For instance, if the total value of land today as per the FCRA balance sheet of the organization is suppose rupees 20 crores, but it might have different lands at different locations purchased at different costs. Now, in our opinion, it cannot be shown together as a single line item. The organization needs to give details of all lands separately, especially because of the location. Don't forget the total closing value should match with the value combined for all lands put together. Here, the asset register we were asking you to maintain will come handy if you have already prepared as per our format circulated earlier. The format is again enclosed for the benefit of all in the description box. So friends, now I think you must be able to appreciate the need of maintaining the asset register and even if not, start doing so because the requirement of these details are not very far. It has to be filled in the FCRA return for 2022-23, the due date for which is 31st December arriving soon. Also, it's an earnest appeal to even the non-FCRA registered organizations, I repeat, it's an earnest appeal to even the non-FCRA registered organizations that don't think since this notification is only for FCRA registered organizations, you need not maintain the fixed asset register. Remember, income tax is applicable to all. I repeat, income tax is applicable to all and records of movable assets and immovable properties are mandatory to be kept as per the notification discussed. Hope you must have found the video meaningful and we were able to update you on the latest amendments made in Form FC4. For more details, you can log on to our website or follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook. For any queries, feel free to contact us through email or comment below. Thank you.